Hello. This tutorial will go over some of the client features available in the advisor version of Fund Manager. Here's a typical sub-portfolio hierarchy an advisor may want to use, where you have an all-client sub-portfolio, and within that sub-portfolio, another sub-portfolio for each one of your clients. If a client has multiple accounts, you would have each one of their accounts in their client-level sub-portfolio. This way you can report at the account level, client level, or even at your all clients level if you want. If a client only has a single account with you, it isn't necessary to create another level of hierarchy for that client. You can just put their account level sub portfolio directly in all clients. Once you have the sub portfolio hierarchy set up the way you want for your clients, you will define your clients by going to the edit menu and select client list. This dialog lists all of your clients. You can add, edit, or delete clients. We'll open up one of these clients to show some of the properties available. You, you can enter the name, tax ID, date of birth, contact information, and then most importantly, you would assign this client to own the sub-portfolio that you've created for them previously. So this Lucy Ayers client is going to own the Lucy Ayers sub-portfolio. Once you've defined all your clients, you can do some useful, useful work with that. Uh, for example, uh, you can mail merge in reports or graphs. Uh, we'll demonstrate that by going over to uh, a report window. Here's a sample report window that we've created. And if I wanted to add some information specific to each client, I can just say options, report headers, and you can customize either the title section or the subtitle area. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to add the tax ID as another line in the sub subtitle section. So you can type any text you want. And then to actually insert the field, press Insert Field. And that gives you a listing of all the available fields that you can choose from. If you highlight one of the fields, you can see a description of what that means. For this tutorial, I'm just going to insert the client's tax ID. You can see the mail merge fields are surrounded by double square brackets. Um, and once you enter it the way you want, just press OK. And you can see that it inserted the tax ID and then mail merged the actual tax ID for that client. You can use that same idea in, in other reports or graphs. Um, in email, which we'll see in a little bit. So uh, the next feature that we're going to demonstrate is the batch printing and batch email. Before you batch print or batch email, uh, you want to first create all the windows that you want to be able to send for each one of your clients. So here we have one report window and one graph window that's been created. You can create as many graphs and report windows as you want. Uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to have one graph and one report window. To actually do the batch printing or emailing, you go to the File menu and say Batch Print slash Email. That opens up this dialog box where you can choose what to batch print. Uh, you can either turn on and off your graphs or reports. You can order all your open windows. Here we'll just print the report window first, followed by the graph window. Uh, and then you'll have a list of all your clients. And if you want to batch print or email to them, just leave a check mark here. There are also options that allow you to control what is going to be batch printed or emailed. So we'll go to this options dialog. You can send the results to a printer. You can email the information directly to your client. Or you can save uh, the reports and graphs to files on your hard drive. For the first part, we're just going to we're going to email these bat, these graphs and reports to our clients and we'll take a look at some of the email options. Uh, we're going to ask it to display each email before actually sending. Um, you can customize the default va value for your email subject and as also for the body of your email message. Just like we did with the report header, you can insert fields 
um, in here that will get mail merged when you actually do the emailing. So we're going to go ahead and email to our client. And we'll just do the first two, Lucy Ayers and Fred Barnes, just so we can see how it works. And we'll press print slash email to actually do the bulk emailing. Once you do that, it will open up a mail message for your first client, and it attaches the graph and the report window for this client. It inserts the message subject and the message body as we requested, and all the fields have been mail merged. You can take a look at everything, make sure it looks okay, and then just press send. And then it moves on to your next client. And so it attaches Fred Barnes's graph and report and customize the subject and the message body for Fred. Make sure everything looks okay the way you want, and then just press send. And that's, you're done with emailing to all your clients. We'll also show how you can batch print by going back to file, batch print, slash email again. And this time, instead of emailing, we're going to choose to send our output to a printer. You can choose any printer that you have installed. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to save it to a PDF file. So we've selected the output to a printer, and we've selected our printer. So we'll just say OK. And again, we'll only do the first two clients. And I'll say print slash email. And it's going to create a PDF for the first client. We'll just say go ahead and create that PDF. And we'll say save it. And then it moves to the next client. And again, we'll say create PDF. This one's for Fred Barnes. And we'll say save. So we're done with the batch printing to PDF files. If I put up these files on my hard drive, you can see that here I have a PDF file for Lucy Ayers and a PDF file for Fred Barnes. Here's the Lucy Ayers one that has our report followed by our graph window. In addition to batch printing and emailing, you can email individual reports or graphs uh, by using file and the send by email command. So if I open up that dialog box, I can email to any client. Um, I can email just the report or the report and graph. And I can choose which email address for this client to send it to. And again, you have the same email options that we had before. Uh, this can be useful if you just want to do one client and not everybody. And to actually send this report and graph to Lucy Ayers, we would just click on Create Email. And again, it does the same thing as it did with the batch print email feature, but we're just doing one client. And then we'll just say Send. OK, uh, this completes the tutorial on client features in the advisor version. Thanks for watching.